Good evening, everyone. I am blessed and highly favored to see another day. All glory and praise be to my Father God, who is the head of everything in my life and especially my marriage. Now, with that being said, if y'all have your Bibles, open them up to the book of Proverbs chapter 28 and verses 13 through 28. All right, starting at verse 13. Whoever conceals their sin does not prosper, but the one who confesses and renounces them finds mercy. Blessed is the one who always trembles before God, but whoever hardens their heart falls into trouble. I'm going to read that one again. That's verse 14. Blessed is the one who always trembles before God, but whoever hoardings their heart falls into trouble. Like a roaring lion or a charging bear is a wicked ruler over a helpless people. A tyrannical ruler practices extortion. But one who hates ill-gotten gain will enjoy a long reign. Anyone tormented by the guilt of murder will seek refuge in the grave. Anyone tormented by the guilt of murder will seek refuge in the grave. Let no one hold them back. The one who walk is blameless is kept safe, but the one who whose ways are perverse will fall into the pits. Those who work their land will have abundant food, but those who chase femities will have their field of Poverty. A faithful person will be richly blessed. A faithful person will be richly blessed, but one eager to get rich will not go unpunished. Mm. But one eager to get rich will not go unpunished. To show Partly is not good, yet a person will do wrong for a piece of bread. And that's a fact. <laughs> if they're hungry enough or desperate enough, they'll kill you for that piece of bread. As it said in God's word and Proverbs. To show partly is not good, yet a person will do wrong for a piece of bread. The stingy are eager to get rich and are unaware that poverty awaits them. Whoever rebukes a person will in the end gain favor rather than one who has a flattering tongue. Whoever robs their father or mother and says it's not wrong is partner to one who destroys. The greedy stirs up conflict, but those who trust in the Lord will prosper. The greedy stirs up conflict, but those who trust in the Lord will prosper. I trust in the Lord. How about you? Those who trust in themselves are fools. Those who trust in themselves, in themselves, are fools. I'm not calling you a fool. Hey, it's right here in the word of God. God calling you a fool. <laughs> but those who walk in wisdom are kept safe. 
Those who give to the poor will lack nothing. But those who close their eyes to them receive many curses. Mm. So with that being said, if you don't care nothing about helping the poor or anything of that, if you, you know, turn your head and act like you don't see them and, you know, holding up a sign and, and, and asking for a little, you know, a little bit of change, like 50 cent or a dollar, some, some, whatever you can spur, you know. But those who close their eyes to them receive many curses. When the wicked rise to power, people go into hiding. But when the wicked purse, the righteous thrive. Now let's jump in the study section and uh, read some of that. This is um, verses 13. Something in each of us strongly resists admitting we are wrong. That is why we admire people who openly and generously admit their mistakes and sins. These people have strong self-images. They do not always have to be right to feel good about themselves. Be willing to reconsider to admit you are wrong and to change your plans when necessary and remember the first step towards forgiveness is confession all right this verse number 14 this proverb proverb warns against stubbornness we become stubborn when we reconcile the wrong that we do or cut ourselves off from God's words mm. church friends and other Christians who might challenge our ways over time we become insensitive to God leading and lose the desire to change respecting and fearing God means keeping an open mind and open heart towards him and this is uh verses 17 and um 18 helping a murderer feel better is not an act of kindness helping a murderer feel better is not an act of kindness the more guilt a murderer feels the more likely that person is to turn to God and repent in the same way if we console or comfort someone in some other serious sin we may make the way easy for them to continue in sinning continue sinning Guilt can lead to repentance. Mm. Helping a murderer feel better is not an act of kindness. The more guilt a murderer feels, the more likely that person is to turn to God and repent. In the same way, if we console or comfort someone in some other serious sin, we may make the we may make the way easy for them to continue sinning. Guilt can lead to repentance. Now, with that being said, that brings this video to a close. Uh, God bless you all. Stay prayed up. You know, stay in the Word of God, and have a happy coming New Year, and be a better you. Be around positive and, you know, um, god fearing people such as yourself. All the negative people and all that, get away from them. Those who don't want God, get away from them. Pray for them. And I always tell them the truth. So, hey, God, 365, none stop. Just Peace Music, ENT. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel. Share the content. 
and most importantly, mm, love one another. All right.